I'm not going to put this much on the last day. But I hope I can thank you all and really make you enjoy this session. So before we get started, just a very quick, you know me, that's why I don't want to just, who am I? What do you know about me? Your singing is ah. <laughs> I'm a good singer. But before we get started, uh, do you know what we call it? This, call, um, this is a face wall. You know Facebook? It's a shit. <laughs> this is my face wall. So, I'm going to tell you what to do with this. Before we get started, I want you in your groups make some guesses about me. Okay? At least five guesses about me. Okay. What is the language for guessing? Bad word for guessing. Give me some structures for guessing. I think. Predict. I think. Yeah. For, for people we don't say I predict, but understand something about it. Yeah. yeah. What else? I guess. Yes. 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 I think. Speculate. Suppose. I suppose. It's I think. I assume. I assume. I assume. Come here. How about this one? For example, you must be. Yeah. Or you could. So, 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 you must. I don't know. Be or you must. Or you might. What else? You. You can. Could. You see. How about opposite? You don't think I'm a good dancer, what do you say? I think that you yeah, are. Yeah, you are, yeah. You can't. No, you can't. <laughs> but just in case. You can't. You. No, no, you. You shouldn't be You can't. You can't be a good dancer. So, what I want you to do, in English we call this pop up language. You see? Everything that you do with your students, sometimes they need the right language. You see, this is pop up language. I want you to. Use this pop up language here in your groups. Make some guesses about me. Okay? So, it's a guess word, actually. It's a guess word. So, what did you do? Yes. Yeah. Is it a power group work? Yes. Not a group work. What guesses do you make? About you. Yeah. It could be mine, age, month of birth, sibling, marital status. Marital status. Wait. Wait. <laughs> what else? No, wait. <laughs> I don't. And what do you use? Pop up. Pop up language. Pop up language. Pop up means language to move to an activity. I hope this is pop up. Pop up language. So, you've got four minutes to make five guesses. So you need some words, right? You don't need to write. It's just a speaking activity. It's just a speaking activity. So yeah. You don't need this. You don't need this. Use the language. It must be. It could be. Okay. And uh, you could be a good singer. Could be or I think. 
and find someone who is an only child. But uh, don't ask this very direct question, are you an only child? Mm -hmm. See, ask the only brother sister over here. And try to find who is an only child. If you can, do not ask a very direct question. If you couldn't, it's fine. So, what is the name of this activity? Find someone who is What do you do? You find people and you write their names. I give you four minutes, five minutes for this. There are 17 items. You don't need to write them all. But at least I need five names. If you write more, you'll be the winner. Okay? So, it's a mingling activity. What is a mingling activity? You don't sit, you stand up, you walk around and you try to find people. I want to see who can really write, I don't know, more names than others. Name of the activity? Find someone. Is it a sitting activity or mingling? No, mingling. Mingling. So, Okay, once again, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. 
Make the head of bungee jumping. I guess he's the only one here. Oh, have you? Yeah, Thailand. Thailand. Oh, yeah. uh, Did you like it? Side, side, I love it. This is, yeah, really. my, this is on my list. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll jump out of the plane, but mm -hmm. not jump it on. Oh, yeah. jump on. There is still yeah. the same. Okay, what else about others? Yeah. Interesting things about others. Yeah, you can come to tennis match. Who? Yeah. Oh, you can. Yeah. Can you do it? And Mr. Messi too. Yeah. I have a question. What is one, two, three in Spanish? Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Un, dos, tres. What is this? Yes. Oh, interesting. But why is a stress eater? Oh, who is that? But who is that? Oh, you're a stress eater. I'm a stress eater too. When I have stress, I eat a lot. Hello, hello. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Green eyes. Two round eyes. Green eyes. And she was born in December. Yeah. How many people were born in December here? Come on. How many people were born in April? Oh, just one. Which which day of April? Twenty fourth. I have found. That Dr. Mendy likes uh, cheese pizza. Cheese pizza. Yeah. How many people like cheese pizza? I think in our countries, I don't know why, but I love cheese pizza. Yeah. I found that Guinea is a left hand. Yeah. 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 Who else is left hand? I love. Oh, you're yeah. left hand. Uh, uh, I found uh, Nergis uh, has taken dance classes. Oh, yeah.
money to use. So, starting from now, five minutes. Go ahead. Just again, you can use it in your own classes as well. 
So, what do you do? Which column do you fill in? So, let's do it. Yeah. Find something that can help you 
here we have a or maintain a relationship. Different kind of relationship. Give one, get one. Just, just fill it in, give one card. Just write it. Just write it. No reasons why relationships might work. For example, being honest. For example, mutual understanding. You see? Reasons why relationships might work. Reasons why relationships might work. Motivation gives me the question. Reasons why relationships might work. So that was that was a way of brainstorming. Yes. How did we brainstorm? Yeah. With, which, with which activity? Yeah. Now you've got two lists. You see, more ideas. You see, these are these are your old ideas, and these are new ideas you got from your friends. So, in what other ways we can have brainstorming? Brainstorming is having ideas for something. Well, in what other ways we can have brainstorming? By creating clusters, maybe. Like what? Uh, for example, buildings and what type of buildings we can have. Or uh, on board, you mean? On board, yes. yes. Or Asking students to give you some questions. ideas. Yes. What yes. else? Yes. That's one way. Or a brainstorming on mind map on the board. What else? Short story. Short story. Survey. 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 Okay. Survey. So, how can we do that? Say that. Like uh, we can have uh, uh, questions oh, yeah. and walk around and ask. Ask questions. And these questions are about some ideas, right? Yeah, about brain topic, certain yeah. topic maybe. Yeah. Should, should, the questions should be chosen very carefully because these are brainstorming. And also something else about questions is that maybe questions are in a way open ended. That way also you can have brainstorming. One of the best ways for brainstorming is moving mind map. Have you heard of moving mind map? What is it? Moving mind map. It's a silent activity. Moving. Where's the mind map? For some reasons that relationships might not work. That's a mind map. So moving mind map is with a tool which we call it mini whiteboard. Look, these are my mini whiteboards. You give this mini whiteboard to a group, and that's a silent activity. And you ask them to draw a mind map like this. And for one particular idea, they can create ideas. Brainstorming can be for ideas, can be also for vocabulary. For example, I was, what, was, what was the first brainstorming we had? Get one, get one. It was for ideas. You see? Now we're going to have a brainstorming for vocabulary. Okay? I want you to think like this. In the middle of this circle, write relationship. And I want you to write vocabulary items related to relationship. But you don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't speak. You just write it, you move it and give it to the next person. The next person will write it and then it moves like this. So, the name of the activity? Moving my map. What is it used for? For vocabulary. Brainstorming. Both vocabulary and ideas. But this one is for vocabulary. Do you speak? No. 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 And is it like this that others say and you write? No. 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 Yeah. Every person should write himself. Yes. So, moving, mind map, mind. silence activities. Mind map. Yeah. And, and what do you write in the middle? Relationship. Relationship. Vocabulary items related to? Relationship. Relationship.
types of groups. You say, I give your vocabulary items to this group, and your vocabulary items to this group. I want you to just see your friend's vocabulary. I want you to see what vocabulary items your friends have produced. So once again we move. Move one move one up. Move one up. See what your friends have Move one up now.
to be used to mass that so, can I have some good vocabulary items related to relationships that you found? Good vocabulary items about relationships. You will not mind that. What good ones you found? Sacrificing. 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 Yeah, mutual understanding. Mutual understanding. Considerate, being considerate, yeah. being revenge. considerate, responsible. taking revenge, <laughs> <laughs> being responsible, betray, betray, break up, break up is a vocabulary fall in love, fall in love, parting, 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 it out, parting, in love. Oh. I really don't know what that word hearing. is, but it must be here. Yeah. Heart hearing. 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 Complicated. Complicated. So now, now students know that some of the items about, you see, the topic that we're going to cover. You can also, my next moving mind map is why relationships fail. Look at this. Why relationships fail. This time I want you to focus on just boy girl relationship, opposite sex relationship. Oh, and why? It's my misunderstanding. Fail. My <laughs> misunderstanding. My it's, it's, it's another form of brainstorming. You've got these little scraps of paper. Pick, each of you pick one, and write at least four or five reasons. Why okay. they don't work. Yes, why relationships between boys and girls might not work. Just, it's an individual task. Four or five reasons each. You've got them on your your plot and there, yes. <coughs> Stand somewhere. Put yourself in the Just reasons why they might work. And please put write them on these scraps of paper. Write them on these scraps of paper. Yes, why reasons might fail. Yeah, but she said something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
categorization or listing. I want you to write some of the poor reasons, poor reasons or good reasons or something maybe in the middle, not really convincing. Not, you know, Our old ideas or just... Yeah. For, example, I don't know, for example, age difference. Yeah. Where do you think it goes? Uh, in the plus. Yeah. I don't know, middle. it's convincing, but it's yeah. not, not convincing. Where do you think it goes? Oh, okay, let's say no. You just write it down and go. Okay, come and do it. Just fill in this. Right yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you have that market, you want to have If you want Selfishness. And 
disrespect to physical features in so, once again, so now you, what, what, again you did, I don't know, kind of ordering, you can call it, from, I don't know, most convincing reasons to poor and unconvincing reasons. Can you discuss these? Do you agree with this or no? Just talk to get in the room and see if you agree with this continuum that we've got in here. Talk to get in the Do you agree with this? Text. And I just 
gave me to this workbook generator, and it gave me this. My question is this one. What do you think this reading could be about? Let's see, just say. Um, Someone having a birthday, but their party didn't go as expected. Okay, just, 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 just wait. Before that, I'm going to just reshuffle, and I want you to be in different groups. I want you to pick one and find someone with the same letter. If you've got A, B, C, E, and e. e. If you're A, you have to go and sit together with A. A. A table is this one. B table is that one, C table is that one, D table is that one, and E table is here. So I'll just give you one. Go and sit around the table, there will be sign for you. Look, we are still in pre reading phase. I, I put some words. From the text, it can be through a word, but it can be just a list. It depends on the way you want to do it. Look at this list now: Robert, Harriet, Sophie, Kate, forget, yes, dependable. I want you to talk together and make up a story about Harriet and Robert. The, the main characters are Harriet and Robert, and the story is the story of a breakup. Breakup. You can remember. Yeah. And there is a reason for this break. So Harriet is a girl. Yes, Harriet is a lady. <coughs> Sophie also is a lady. I want you to talk together. I give you five, six minutes, six minutes to guess the story of Harriet and Robert. You? Okay. So.
So, now discuss those guesses. Can discuss, can discuss the guesses. Now discuss the guesses. If they're true or false. You four, just discuss the guesses. Where's your... Where's the... 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 Talk together. Do you agree? No, no, no. Just if it's if it's true, put the check. If it's wrong, put the cross. So, look, the guesses were in the pre reading part. When you read quickly and you just said, that's not that's not Look. In reading phase, we've got gist task and detailed task. Was it a gist task or detailed task? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some general guesses. And your guesses couldn't be very detailed. Yeah. That's, that's a gist task. And you simply produce the statement, and the other um, groups, they guess whether or not they're true based on the text. Now we're going to the detailed task. There's an activity which is my favorite. It's called, have you heard of this test engineer? Yes. That's a little bit tricky. But I divide the groups in three parts. Group A writes questions. questions. I want you to write, I'll just tell you which is what. If you've got just three, A, B, C. Group A runs detailed questions based on the text. Group B reads the questions and try to write answers. Group C does not see the questions. They just see the answers of group B. And they should guess the questions. So did you get it? Yes. So once again, the name of the activity is? Test engineers. Group A writes questions. How many questions? Four. Four. Are they general questions or detailed questions? Detailed. Detailed, detailed and difficult to answer questions. From the same text. Yes, based on the text. Group B answers. Reads the questions and answers. And group C gets the sees the, yes, sees the questions, sees the answers, but they should guess the original question. So I'm going to be writing into three groups. Okay, why group A is writing the questions? Group B read the text more carefully because I don't give you time to look at the text. You see, so you, group B should read the text more carefully, and so does group C. So. C. Just we go A, B, C, A, B, C. B. No. Again. A, B, C, A. B. C. A, B, B. A, B. C, A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. So, A's, A's go back to that table, A's. B's here, C's here.
Do you think they fell in love in the first place? The answer is that the, the answer is tricky. I'm a bit wrong. They were quite different. Yeah. What was the reason? Yes. 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 He mentioned that we are quite different. When did they? Opposite. 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 Yeah. 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 Opposite. When was the day that Robert waited for an hour and a half? It was on Robert's, on Robert's birthday. Ah. And when did they? When did the things go wrong? Yeah. Look, the same answer to different questions. That's that's about test and genius. The best much of test and genius is like this. A, B, C. A, B, C and C at the same time to write four questions and then switch. And then switch. And and that's the best version. Another this is a detailed task. Yeah, Look, traditionally in course books we have questions that students answer. Another detailed task is whispering questions. Have you had whispering questions? Can you go back to your own original groups, A, B, C, D, E, own original groups? Go back. Look, whispering question is like this. I, you read the text, you write the good question. You whisper the question into your friend to your right. And this person gives the answer to the person who is right or her left. And then she should again produce a question for the answer. And then you produce the answer. You give the answer to the other person. And the other person produces the question. And then finally you should see if you've got the same questions and answers. So once again, what is the name of the activity? Whispering question. The first person on the right will whisper a question into the person to his left. This person doesn't give the answer, doesn't give the questions. She just gives the answer to the next. Yes. And then you give the question. You should try to guess the question and give it. And then at the end, when you've got the question or answer, you should compare, see if you... What I heard. Yes. yes. That's it's a very, very really interesting activity. Can you do it now? Yeah. Just the person on the right. Same. Yes. Yeah. 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 The same story. The same story. There is no other story. <laughs> so, the person, you start asking the question. I'm on what? From the story. We had such kind of game. Yes. We called it wrong telephone. Wrong telephone? Wrong telephone? Yeah, and the same so we had to and then she hears oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So, do it, look, look, what is the name of this? What is the name of the game? Hello, hello, hello. Can you sit down, please? You're not listening. And you get distracted, and I have to tell again and again. That's not really the right thing to do. Look, the name of the activity is. It's very much like testing. It's another version. Of, another version of testing. The person on the right. Ask. If there's a question, please ask me. Oh, I'm ready to answer. Go on. Ask. I think you were talking to each other. It's a question. You can ask me. It's fine. Can I clarify? Look, look. Look, that's you're here on in the first thing that we had was and this is another version of look I asked about it's like this. I asked you a question. Do this. He will Give her the, the answer of my question. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this person, based on the answer, the the question. Question. produces the same question. question. Exactly what this team did. And then, based on the question, you Make give the answer. answer. And then, you choose the question. And then, at the end, you're going to compare, yeah. see how many questions and answers you've done, and are they the same or not? Yes. So, did you get it? Yeah. Yeah. So what is the name of the activity? Whispering. Whispering questions. What does the person on the right do? The person next to it? 
Yes. Gives the answer to the other person. It's just whispering. And the person who gets the answer produces the question. Let's do it. Yes. It's just exactly like testing. Let's do it. Four minutes. Do it. No, you have the right. Did you whisper? Whisper question to the ear. Whisper question to the ear. Just ask questions about Robert, just ask questions about Harriet, just ask questions see, about the different parts of the text, different characters, different stories. That is a whispering question. We're going to have another version of this at the end of this workshop as well. So the questions that you ask in gist tasks and detailed tasks are of remembering and understanding questions. But it is that you should remember something, you should understand something from the text. Are these just the only questions that you can ask from your students? No. Flip the ball. Have you heard of Groom's taxonomy? Yes. yes. Look, the questions that you asked them were mostly remembering and understanding. And usually these questions come in. But you can ask questions which involve why. If I ask you, because I'm going to ask you, tell me which level it is. If I ask you, what is the learning point about this text and how you can use it in your own life? Which level of question is it? Analyzing a point. Yes, it is a point. So it comes here in? If I ask you this question, what do you think of Robert? What do you think of Harry? Do you think Harry did the right thing? It is evaluating. You see, it comes here. If I ask you to change the ending of the story, if I ask you to tell the story from Harriet's perspective, creating the story from different perspectives, tell the story from Sophie's perspective. Do you think Sophie could have helped in the relationship? No. Or do you think you see that's yeah. yeah. analyzing and maybe evaluating. evaluating? Did the writer give us enough information about Sophie, Harriet, and Robert? No. no. Which one is it? No. No. Analyzing the text to see which part is about Harriet. So we don't have much. We don't know much about Harriet. Maybe we, we cannot really evaluate that. So look. It's about, it's about reading, it's about listening, it's about writing. The questions that we ask, two levels of remembering and understanding can fall into reading, why reading, faith. The rest, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating into post reading. And post reading is the most important part of your story or teaching. Look, I want you to revisit this text, fold it back from this part. Oh, you're impossible. Can you fold it back from this part? Oh, you are impossible. Let's fold this part. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fold this part back. Yes. Yeah. Fold this part back. Fold this part back. Yes. Oh, you're impossible. I never see you. So, now, in your groups, talk together 
and make it write a different. I don't want you to write. I want you to talk and make a different ending to this story. Okay. But it's even more negative. It can be a breakup. It can be just even a relationship that turns and becomes more interesting. I don't know. Your own ending. Can be good. It's a, it's a group one. It's a group one. So. Question, is it, a, is it a remembering, understanding question type? Right? Yes. It's a collaborative and it's a collaborative and it's a collaborative and Okay, writing. Go ahead please. You together, you together, you together, you together, you together. Then you have a spokesperson. Yeah, so I had a good day. 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 I had a good day.
uh, Sophie keeps telling me that she still loves Robert, so uh, sorry, Harriet. Sorry. So she keeps calling him a few times. Obviously, of course, he doesn't answer. Then she starts driving really fast back to his place. It's a rainy, slippery night. She has a horrible accident. Police comes, you know, they and they redial off like her phone, they find the last person, it was Robert, they go to Robert's place and they take Robert to hospital. So Harriet survives and then because Robert was, Robert was going back and forth to the hospital for a few months and really really showed Harriet that, you know, uh, he was responsible, Harriet changes forever and becomes very responsible and they want to get married. <laughs> so look, this taxonomy actually shows different levels of thinking. When you ask questions that students because require students to remember something, it's not very difficult. And they're not really that mentally or cognitively engaged. Even about understanding, more cognitively engaged. There is still the engagement of the best engagement is for well, that's why you like it so much. You added the whole thing yourself. <laughs> or evaluating is also a very good uh, uh, level of thinking. So don't just get stuck with remembering and understanding. Many many of the textbooks, when they ask questions in detail time, in post reading, they just ask a couple of remembering or uh, what is that understanding questions. Maybe sometimes applying or just not many. But you can have an awful lot of other activities that you can do. But the next hour, I'm going to work more on those activities that you can evaluate and create. create. One of which is these tools. Have you seen these cubes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're so nice. We're going to play with them next hour. It's time for breaking up.